Hey everyone, so uh, it's been kind of a while since I properly made a video, uh, but as I said in my update video, I do want to get making videos again. Uh, so at least, you know, somewhat consistently. And today I'm not really covering any specific weapon like I normally would, uh, but I'd rather cover a bit of a broader topic. And it's a topic that's kind of really close to my heart, or has been for the past at least a year in Windcraft, and that's uh, in general playing hyperblast playstyles such as ETW and Perfect Play. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, as I said, I'm pretty qualified to talk on this topic, I feel like, because I've been doing it quite a lot this past year. Uh, and I want to kind of just voice my opinion on it, especially with the new Strength Index changes coming soon. And, you know, maybe I'll inform some of you guys and maybe get some some of you guys interested in this playstyle. So, I guess first I'll start with the more well-known well -known part of the playstyle, which obviously is Earth Underwater. Uh, ETW, yeah, ET Earth Underwater uh, is referencing the three elements it uses, and as you noticed, it doesn't encompass either fire or air, meaning that you really can't get any tankier or have any effective hit points. And because of this, ETW items generally also tend to be quite glassy while having extremely high damage. Um, it's one of the hardest playstyles to play, I'd argue, uh, because of how stupidly glassy it is. You can basically only tank like 3-4 hits generally from boss mobs. Um, and the only thing is you're trading in this ability to be able to tank for a small, small damage boost. Um, it's not really worth it. Um, if you think about how glassy you become, it's not worth it to get like 20% extra damage over like TWF or TWFA, which are definitely better. Um, though, keep in mind that this may all change in the upcoming update when we get the Strength and Dex changes. Uh, and this will make both skill points actually significantly boost your damage. And who knows, maybe then we'll have an actual fair trade-off for ETW, which would make it somewhat more meta. It's gonna be scary to see people, um, destroy the eye with, like, ETW Kata in a couple shots. I mean, I've already done that, um, and I can confirm it's pretty fun. <laughs> but now we can do it even faster, hopefully. Now, moving on, the other thing I do want to talk about is Perfect Play, and it's, uh, I'd say, the slightly more less known uh, version of Hyperglass that you can play. It's the alternative to ETW, I'd argue. It, Perfect Play, it isn't its official name, but it really doesn't have a good name, so I heard somebody use Perfect Play, and I think it's a pretty decently descriptive term, so I'm going to use that from now on. It basically means that when you're building your build, instead of maximizing, uh, instead of just, like, focusing on making your build balanced and it having health sustain and whatever, you just literally just maximize mana sustain and damage and you kind of put aside any health sustain and any like building for tank. So basically you don't have any sustain. Um, and this also ends you ends up with you only being able to tank like maybe three or four or five hits. Um, so it's in a way similar to ETW. Uh, but unlike ETW, uh, in ETW, you are able to heal yourself up because you usually, in general, you have some life steal from items like um, Atlas, Nick of the Moron, that goddamn helmet I can't pronounce, yeah. Uh, you know, also, I think Tesla, I mean, who the fuck would use Tesla? Dev Zero, Grim Trap, stuff like that. You get, you, you get it, you can have some life steal. But the point of perfect play is you don't have any. And arguably, uh, I'd say both are about as challenging to play because you keep in mind that because perfect play isn't necessary ETW, you are able to have some agility. Um, they are, because of that kind of balance, to be about equally challenging to play. Um, the only difference, obviously, is if you want to use a non-E, T, or W weapon. For the true hyperglass experience, you kind of need to go perfect play. Uh, a good example is, of this is me using weathered. I really like perfect play weathered. Um, now, are you talking about class balance and which classes are the best and worst for Hyperglass in general, be that ETW or Perfect Play. Uh, definitely the best one for both ETW and Perfect Play is Assassin. It's got a fast-paced pa fast game gameplay style, which is definitely fitting for Hyperglass. While it also has the good toolkit to be able to escape any hairy situations while you can still be pretty aggressive, sometimes stupid aggressive. And obviously Vanish plays a huge part in that. Vanish is kind of busted, but it also fits perfectly with uh, Hyperglass. Now obviously, Ar Archer is the second best, you can probably guess that, just because, <laughs> well, yeah, it's Archer. It just outranges everything and does stupid high DPS, which I feel like it doesn't deserve. 
Um, obviously, it's pretty glassy even for ETW status because of its base defense, but then again, if you don't get hit, you'll live. Uh, Shaman and Warrior are about probably as good. Uh, they come after Archer, I'd say, in the power scale with Hyperglass. Shaman is pretty solid, though, of course, it's got, you know, natural sustain from Totem Heal, so technically you could argue it's not really real perfect play if you go for perfect play, but at the same time, it's really minuscule, and the fact that Shaman's so incredibly blessed and you kind of need to go up close, I'd say you still get the, a good perfect play experience even playing Shaman. Warrior, on the other hand, kind of suffers from the fact that it doesn't have any vanish or kind of just needs to get up close and personal with bosses while not being able to necessarily always get out. So especially with perfect play with having no sustain, you may kind of be screwed. Um, so obviously ETW would be better if you want to go hyper class on hyper glass on warrior. Lastly, I wouldn't really rank mage in any way because you really can't go hyper glass with mage because you just have a heal spell. It totally invalidates any perfect play ideas. And for ETW, you're kind of just like yet again you have heal, so you can almost brush off any damage you want if you're good enough. And it doesn't even have that high of a skill cap because of, of course it has a CPS cap and a very simple spell combo being Meteor Ice Snake, which doesn't even deal huge DPS as ETW, so who really cares, why would you use it? Um, so yeah, that's about it for the build styles, at least um, now, if you, now that you know, I've explained to you guys what ETW and Hyperglass is, um, you may be wondering, why the hell would I use this archetype? <laughs> are these archetypes because obviously they suck shit totally suck shit they are not optimal to play they are not you know very powerful i mean they are powerful if you don't get hit it's a core philosophy <laughs> philosophy for uh hyperglass players but in general they're not very good um and i'd say to this that yeah that's true but i personally at least picked them up because i wanted to just become a better player at the game and i would argue that uh playing both of these uh, playstyles perfect play on ETW definitely make you better. It forces you to improve, it forces you to be, well, as perfect play describes it, near perfect. You have to be aware of all spell combos, you need to have good arena awareness and overall skills to be able to avoid attacks and also know when to attack yourself. Um, but, gotta keep in mind, you are going to die a lot with these. I mean, I've done this for about a year and I still basically die almost every time in raids with ETW or Perfect Play. But obviously that's kind of because raids are designed pretty poorly, especially for close range classes that are you know, using glassy builds. And I could go on raid rants uh, and rants on this forever, but I'm just going to say you're going to get kicked in the balls a lot, especially at the start. But I still recommend you guys try it, at least after the strength and dexterity, dexterity changes when these playstyles have been a bit, become a bit better. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, I was also thinking of making a video on just how to improve in Windcraft combat in general. Tell me if you would like to hear a video on that. And also, I don't know, like, if you have any questions regarding ETW or Hyperglass, I'll be sure to answer those questions in the comments, hopefully at least, or fucking DM me on Discord or something. I'll respond probably. Um, so yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a, a semi-long video, but yeah. Bye.